Hello there everyone, this is Fahar. Hope you are having a wonderful day. In this tutorial, we will see how to create a transition from black to white to color in After Effects. In the first example, we will be using a still photo and then we will see how to do it in a video clip. So without any further ado, let's get started. In this first example, we will be using this photo and this ink video clip. The idea is, the person will be colored always, but the flower will be colorized slowly. We just need to follow a simple trick. Ok, I'll bring the ink video clip into our timeline. We don't need to see it, so let's turn off the visibility. We'll need 3 copies of this still photo. Press Ctrl or Command and D to duplicate it twice. The bottom layer will be black and white. The middle one will be color 1 and the top one will be the subject. You can press enter to rename a layer or right click and select rename. Now go to effects and presets and search for black and white. Drag it to the black and white layer. If I solo this layer, then you will see it's now black and white. In the subject layer, we will have only the subject, so we need to separate it from the background. Since it's just a still photo, so we can use the pen tool. Let's zoom in by holding the alt or option and using the mouse scroll. Make sure the subject layer is selected, otherwise it will create a new shape rather than making a mask. You don't need to be super accurate, but try to get a good selection. Now if I solo this layer, you will see we have the subject separated. Ok, now on color layer, select the ink layer for track mat. But right now, nothing is happening. We need the luminance value. Right now, the alpha mat is selected. Click the icon and the Luma mat will be selected. Now it's working. So we are taking the luminance or brightness of the ink layer. The white areas will be visible and the black areas will be hidden. This is just like layer mask in Photoshop. Now if you want to make a zoom in or a zoom out animation, then we need to pre-compose everything first. Then click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Move forward 3 frames and change the scale. Here I am going for a zoom out animation. Ok, let's do the second example. This one is a video clip, but the main process is the same. First bring the ink video to our timeline and run the visibility off. Make two copies of the main video clip and name it like before. The bottom one is the black and white, then the color and at the top the subject. In our first example, we used the pen tool. That was a still photo, so it was possible to use the pen tool. But in a video clip, we cannot do that. I mean we can do that, but that will take ages. In this case, we need to use the roto brush tool. Select the roto brush tool and double click here in the comp area. It will open a new window. Here we are gonna select the subject. Start at the beginning and make sure the resolution is set to full. Now just paint the subject. After Effects will automatically select them. If you want to subtract any areas, then hold Alt or Option. Then the brush will turn to red. Now you can subtract any areas. I'll trim the comp area to save some time. Ok, now hit a spacebar to play. After Effects will select it. If you want to add or remove any areas, then hit spacebar again and add or subtract it. Hit spacebar again to continue. Once it's done, click the freeze button. Ok, now if I solo this layer, then you will see the subject is separated. Now let's apply the black and white effect. Like before, we need to select the Luma track mat. This is all ok, but we can make the green field brighter. Let's add a curve to the color layer and increase the brightness. If you want, you can also change the field color. Add a hue saturation and from here, you can change it to any color. You can even add multiple color layers and link it to the ink layer. So this is how you can create a black and white to color transition. Hope you like this video, like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.